Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just to let you know that if you are using Microsoft Bing, that it seems that Microsoft is thinking of overhauling the whole Bing search. Now, this is according to announcement that it's launching a new Bing search, which is currently available for a small subset of users, where obviously Microsoft is testing this before rolling it out and possibly rolling it out to the general public at a later stage. Now, the new Bing search apparently is called Bing Generative Search. So obviously this is going to be using AR. So Microsoft very intent to get AR into most of its products and services, as we have been talking about on the channel. And according to Microsoft, the AR will use both large and small language models uh, to obviously give those who are currently A-B testing this generative search a better search experience, and that's according to Microsoft. Now, because um, this new generative search is um, rolling out to a small subset of users, most, including myself, would not have uh, received this feature yet. So just to cut to the chase, I'm going to use a couple of examples given by Microsoft from that announcement. So they say, for example, if you search for what is a spaghetti western, Bing shows an AI-generated experience that dives into the film subgenre, including its history and origins, top examples, and so on, according to Microsoft. It also provides links and sources that show where it came from or lets the user dive deeper. And they also mention that the regular search results continue to be prominently displayed on the page like always. Now, apparently, also according to Microsoft, um, the AI will also understand the search query, um, reviews millions of sources of information, dynamically matches content, and generates search results in a new AI-generated layout to fulfill the intent of the user's query more effectively. And if we have a closer look at this, this new so-called AI-generated layout, here we can see, starting on the left, here we get a document index here to the left-hand side. And then here we get uh, source citations. If we just scroll down, and if we scroll down a little bit further, yeah, we will get uh, related sections below that. So that's just below that, related sections. And then yeah, at the top is the answer summary. So obviously this is the main AI generated summary for the actual search query. And then yeah, to the top right, yeah, are the so-called traditional um, search results according to Microsoft. That'll be yeah, on the right-hand side. So that's just a quick example of what this new AI generated layout could look like if it rolls out to the general public. And apparently, because it's currently been A-B tested, there is a chance that it could make its way to more Bing users over the coming months. But I'll keep you guys posted if I do get any more info. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.